Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 13th of 2022. Well, it is titled Supernova Remnant Semis 147. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a supernova remnant, and it goes by the catalog designation Semis 147. But it's also known as the Spaghetti Nebula for its little twisting and twirling a uh, little there like strands of spaghetti. Now, this is an example of a super remnant, a supernova remnant, which is an example of an exploded star. And this would be an example of what we call a type two supernova remnant, which is the end result of the ma massive star at the end of its life. And when it explodes, it leaves behind a compact core, which is known as a neutron star. And that would be at the center of this. And that is a very rapidly spinning, very highly compressed ball of material and essentially was the core of the star that has now been compressed so densely that all of the electrons have been squeezed into the nuclei of the atoms. So it's the density of a gigantic atomic nucleus, many times denser than anything that exists here on Earth. And it also spins very rapidly and as as it as it has compacted so very rapidly spinning and some pulsars can spin many times per second even though they are the size of a city now the outer layers are then expelled out into space and that's what we see as this remnant as something that was seen to explode here on earth about 40,000 years ago now we don't see things in astronomy as they are right now when we look out in space we are always looking back in time and in, and in this case the supernova remnant is about 3000 light years away meaning we see it not as it was is today but as it was 3000 years ago so we see it as it was long long ago and we can also estimate the expansion rate by looking at this and we can take the knots of material and measure how fast they're expanding outward and trace them backwards to when this would have been a star just a point of light on the sky. And we can estimate that at about 40,000 years. So 40,000 years ago, a new star would have appeared in the sky and would have been very could have been very bright when we see supernovae that occur within our our galaxy, they can appear very bright in the sky. Now we have not had the fortune to have a supernova occur uh, nearby in our galaxy since the advent of the telescope in the 1600s. Before that we did happen to see a couple of others in fact just before the advent of the telescope. But since then we have not had that fortune to be able to study a supernova up close. The closest one would be supernova 1987a uh, which occurred in the lar large Magellanic cloud a satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way. So one that is close enough where the star could have been cataloged before but nothing within our galaxy. So at some point we may see a supernova within our galaxy and give us a chance to study that star that we've studied in much more detail and that had been observed many times uh, to give us a better idea of the process behind the uh, massive explosion that creates something like our image for today. So that was our picture of the day for January 13th of 2022. It was titled Supernova Remnant Semis 147. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.